Hi everyone and welcome to a No Man's Sky Chimera episode. In Chimera we modify No Man's Sky and see what procedural greatness we can achieve in the amazing No Man's Sky engine. Uh, this world guys, I thought this world looked very kind of futuristic version 1.0. was really, really impressed by it. There's two worlds in this video. Now, the purpose in this video today though is uh, a focus on the environmental density stress test I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been coming across worlds that drop my FPS, um, not not horribly, in some cases horribly, but in most cases not. Uh, like this world here, you know, I was getting, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I was definitely a, a getting at least 60 FPS, maybe maybe a, a few drops, but in some worlds I was getting much, much less, but, um, but they're so beautiful and dense that it made me want to see how far we could push this how far we could push it and still be a playable and fairly efficient world um and keep in mind my chimera is not optimized i'm not a programmer a uh, professional programmer i don't i don't know uh, much about optimization um but when we got to this second world here this might as well be called planet fps killer um i had to stay above the ground um, on this world because the density was so intense that it um, in some cases I dropped to 15 FPS but even I, I think I think there were like I, I don't know what, what what kind of buffer issues I was getting or whatever but because it would equalize after a while I'd get um, um, I'd get I get up to 60 FPS uh, but but for about 30 seconds 40 seconds on the ground um, uh, like I said, I think it was a buffering issue because I'd get about 15 FPS. Uh, and you'll see here, right now I'm above, and you might say, well, it looks dense, but nothing special. Guys, this world was so alien and beautiful with this much density. Um, and the terrain, of course, these, these two worlds, believe it or not, uh, maybe you didn't notice in the first one, but this one, for sure, the terrain is definitely uh, impressive as well. So uh, you had this very, very rich, dense um, amount of variety here and uh, this this stress test really showed that um, with proper optimization I mean like modders like Rayrod would be able to do it in a, in a snap um, you could have this level of density in the game on a regular basis I'm not saying this type this this variety of density you might say well Scott I don't like that I, this much density I don't I don't like um, you know it looks like too much stuff my point is th this was just a stress test look at this <laughs> I love the clipping no I don't I hate clipping but so immersion breaking but uh this was just really cool flying back up here passing these crystals but um uh, so it was just a stress test to see you know what 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 is possible um and a lot is possible guys a lot is possible i mean here uh what am i running i'm running 2k ultra settings and even even with this insane amount of density um for the most part i'm i'm around 60 fps and i'm on an average gaming pc so um and when i say average gaming pc i, I don't know five years ago it cost me like 1200 bucks 1500 bucks um, so, um, so next gen consoles, I mean, yes, I mean, th this is possible. It just needs optimization. Um, and like I say, uh, we could have this, you know, and, um, I really hope we do. I really hope we see just these incredibly rich, dense, um, crazy procedural generation. Um, uh, and not necessarily like this with more intentional, um, uh, um, uh, you know, asset compatibility obviously there's a lot of variety here that maybe you say doesn't fit or you don't like it but but the point was like I say the stress test and I was very impressed guys very impressed um, this is completely unopt unoptimized uh, just my chimera testing and this world was so beautiful it was so beautiful it was so alien you know I mean just look <sighs> oh my gosh it was just so pretty and I love the red trees oh my gosh and, the, and really interesting terrain too. So you'll see now we've dropped down a little bit. You know, first we were up above all this. Now we're mid-range, just over the treetops. But you'll notice, um, in particular, the FPS hit when we when we 
hit the ground. Um, but like I say, it was strange. I don't know. I don't know what it was. But the, uh, like I say, it was probably uh, some sort of uh, buffering issues going on. But but I, it literally equalized as far as our. Um, it, it literally equalized the FPS and see right, right here we're about 15 FPS actually but um, um, but it equalizes after a few oh I didn't film enough to show you but it equalizes after about I don't know 20 seconds something like that so I don't know what the hell is going on but uh, really really cool and uh, this stress test really showed me that um, you know, we think about the No Man's Sky procedural engine in terms of, you know, terrain generation or asset generation. But we don't really think of it in terms of density. And um, and now um, I proved to myself that uh, the No Man's Sky engine has tremendous potential for density as well as variety. So um, really, really, really interesting, beautiful worlds, especially this one. I love this one. Ignore my ignore the clipping though, but um, I got my camera set up really weird. By the way, if you see a couple of my videos and the, it clips like that, it's a uh, I got my I got some crazy camera settings going on. That's why this uh, position, this uh, angle, looking down at my uh, at my dude here is a uh, is a little weird. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time.